It caused some resentment inside Solidarity, but that was later. Yachang, they let you out. Do you want to make a speech? No, it's your revolution. You tell us what you want us to do. Look at this. It's going to be 40 meters high outside the gate. We used to show up there every Christmas with stones in our suitcases. We build a little monument and the police would kick it over and take us away. They won't kick this over in a hurry. I said we'd have a monument. Now I say we'll have 10 million members. <laughs> We have to make an organization. <clears throat> Suddenly, everybody has a free union. <clears throat> All over the country, they're saying, we'll have the same as Gdansk. Thank you very much. I don't know. Maybe there should be no centralization. Just separate unions. No, you have to be national. Otherwise, the party will pick you off piece by piece. Yes, yes. You're right. We have to act as one. You mean... If we want to strike in Warsaw, we have to come to Gdansk for permission. Yes, definitely. What are we going to be? An alternative bureaucracy? A politburo? How we use our authority is up to us. If we are fair, then we will use it fairly. For the good of all. Yeah, that's party language, Lee. No, it's the language of democracy. Stolen by the party. We are a workers' movement, not a mob. Local strikes must have a majority at factory level first. And then they must be ratified by a majority at the National Commission in Gdansk. What is this Gdansk, 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 huh? We had a strike in Szczecin. We also had a member of the Politburo on his knees. We also signed an agreement. We had everything you had except foreign journalists. And you should have told them to mind their own business like we did. I don't care if the National Commission meets in different places. It can meet in a hot air balloon for all I care. Oh, don't say that. The damn thing can never come down. <laughs> all right. We don't even exist yet, legally. All we have is a name. We're taking the name on the strike bulletin we published in the yard. Hmm. Solidarity. We'll have legal registration in a few weeks. The statutes are being drawn up now by our legal experts. You see, intellectuals have their uses. Although we did have trouble with them at first. They kept putting the word socialist into the manifestos. And the workers kept taking it out. Yes, well, we didn't know that you were thinking of changing the political system. We aren't. We don't want to govern. We don't want to be a threat. What are you talking about? We are a threat. Look, we're dealing with gangsters. We're a union, that's all. Do you believe that? If we don't believe it, how can they? We are not political. Most of our demands are political. What's the most important thing we've gained? The broadcasting of mass. Jesus, God. Please, don't blaspheme. Abolition of censorship, the right to strike, free elections for the union, no more party hacks holding down jobs they don't know how to do. <coughs> free trade unions are political. He's right. And we're going to have to fight just to keep what we've won, even to get what we've won. Is he right? I said it was a revolution. Now, the trick is to make it a self-limiting revolution. The party must keep the leading role. I'm still a party member. And with a union controlled by the party, there's no problem. But an uncontrolled union reverses the current of power. The party won't forgive. Oh, it'll give up ground and take its time. But in the end, they still have the police and the security forces, so go slowly. You can win little by little. But remember, if you lose, you will lose overnight. Like that. What, what we, we have, have witnessed, witnessed in Gdansk, Gdansk comrades, is an attack on the state. state. Organized by anarchists and anti-socialist groups. That is not true. These are genuine grievances. There is a failure in the party, and it is at the top of the party. 
This was Parliament, five days after the Gdansk signing. The usual ventriloquist act had fallen apart. We had become... The dummy had come to life. For a party leadership which has lost its way. We are a sham society built on propaganda which has become a joke. We have sham planning, sham achievements in industry and science, sham debate. The other odd thing was that the first secretary, Edvard Garrick, was missing. Garrick's had a heart attack. The Central Committee is meeting tonight. We'll have a new first secretary by the morning. Shh! Does Stefan have hope? I can't hear a thing! Stefan Olszewski had been in the Politburo before, until a disagreement over Garrick's economic policy shunted him into the ambassador's job in East Berlin. Now the Central Committee had brought him back in from the cold. There was a hard line in the party, and Olszewski spoke for it. But the Central Committee did not advance Stefan Olszewski. It was not the right moment to attack from the left. Why is it always chess? Well, it symbolizes... Uh, uh, these comp- ones with the horses' heads. Are these the ones which can jump over things? You're ruining it. Sorry. The mood was for renewal, reform. Nothing too liberal, but no conservative backlash. A middle-of-the-road apparatchik with a tough background in security, but with nothing of the zealot about him would do. Kanye had the job by 2 a.m. <laughs> Dear Kanye, get things back to normal, or we'll be down on you like a ton of bricks. Read that back. Dear Comrade Kanye, the working people of the Soviet Union know you as a staunch champion of the people's true interests, the ideals of communism, the strengthening of the leading role of the party, and the consolidation of socialism in the Polish People's Republic. That's my chair. They knew you as but a Kanye pledged himself to the spirit of Gdansk, at least in his first public statement. The party will reform itself, workers will work, the citizens will have more freedom, the newspapers will report the facts, radio will broadcast mass, the hacks will be sacked, corruption will be stamped out, and Poland will be in charge of her own destiny throughout. It's all going to be all right. Now the private statement... The Soviet Union supply us with all our crude oil, potash and iron ore and 80% of our natural gas and our timber. The August strikes have cost us zillions of zwatties and they aren't finished. All over the place, workers have caught the Gdansk disease. And all over the place, the fat cats of the party apparatus and the old union are digging in against what they call an anti-socialist sellout. It's not going to be a picnic. of reform was moving so slowly that to give it a shove, the union announced a token one-day strike for October 3rd. With a week to go, the Solidarity leadership went to Warsaw to apply for legal registration. Comrade Verwan, sir. Congratulations, Comrade First Secretary, on your elevation. Likewise. Please, sit down, Comrade. Comrade Verwasa, when I was elected first secretary, I told the Central Committee I intended to use the collective wisdom of the people. A strike is not the act of wisdom. A stoppage for one hour. But a million people, even for one hour, is a provocative symbol to our allies. It's going to be three million, Comrade First Secretary. I'm trying to help you, but I have suspicious and angry people behind me. That is my position also. The proletariat cannot dictate to the party what... In the dictatorship of the proletariat, the party must have the leading role. We accept that. But we haven't said so in the legal statutes which have been deposited with the Warsaw Provincial Court. We haven't said so because we are not a political organisation. The leading role of the party has nothing to do with us. The leading role of the party is to do with everybody. To acknowledge it in the statutes would be a political act. To refuse to acknowledge it is a political act. The independence of the Free Trade Union Solidarity is not negotiable. We are waiting the decision of the court. Then we will know if this game is honest. The 
registration of the independent trade union solidarity is allowed. <laughs> But the statutes of the Union are modified to include the acknowledgement of the leading role of the party. The court has no power to alter the statutes. Now will you believe me? We're dealing with gangsters. The Wawan Samar is calling a general strike. Rub them out. There's three million of them. Four million bots. Shut up. It was the wrong time to pull a stunt like that. What's all this gangster stuff? Well, it's a metaphor. Wrong. You people. It was the wrong time for a confrontation. You haven't had Comrade Brezhnev shouting down the phone. Comrade Brezhnev only demands stability. Throw the dogs a few bones, hmm? Leave the statutes of the Union as they are and put whatever you want into an appendix. For when sir will help us if we help him. When the time comes... And so the government backed off. Solidarity was made legal. And mass was on the radio. The regime lost face, but stood to gain a period of calm, so long as the moderate men on either side were in control. The calm lasted nine days. On whose orders? Jesus and Mary. They broke into the Solidarity Office in Warsaw and found what they say is a secret document. They've arrested our printer, also a clerk who works in the prosecutor's office. They claim he leaked the document to us. Warsaw Solidarity has called a strike of the entire region if both men are not released. Excuse me, a strike is not called by a regional office. Only by the National Commission of the Union. Then you'd better call it. Workers already stopped at Ursa's tractors. What's more, we're demanding, as a condition of calling off the strike, an investigation into the methods of the prosecutor's office and of the security police. We're demanding cuts in the police budget and also the punishment of those who committed the police brutalities in 70 and 76. I agree. For two arrested men... And what do we hit them with when the stakes get higher? Comrade Prosecutor? Are we to have a confrontation with a million workers over a miserable document? It is a classified document. A secret circular prepared by myself on the organization of anti-socialist groups. Furthermore, it is a stolen document. We have a very good case for prosecution. The document contains nothing of importance. I've said on behalf of the party, in public, that we offer solidarity coexistence. These arrests merely make me look like a liar. These demands against the security police, they cannot be made in the name of the union. We are a non-political organization. It was a pledge. Do you want to ruin everything? It's very simple. We demanded the release of the two men. The government has delivered them. We have to deliver an end to the strike. Our demands have not been satisfied. Your demands did not have the sanction of Gdansk. We're not in Gdansk, we're in Warsaw. Furthermore, our region is much bigger than the Gdansk region. My friend, there's another reality beyond the immediate issue. Who's he? I'm Yatsak Kuran. You're not a worker. Look, this is not an argument between you and the police. It's an argument between millions of Poles and the regime. No, it is between us and the police. In 76, when the government raised prices, we went on strike. And we won. They caved in. Afterwards, the police made us run the gauntlet of truncheons. We were beaten unconscious. Our bones were smashed. Who was ever punished for those crimes? Okay. What can I say? You don't have to talk to these men about the police. They've been in prisons. The government has agreed to talk about the responsibility of the police. They'll say anything in private. The talks on police were announced on television tonight. Talks is not what we asked for. They guarantee nothing. I am your guarantee. We are your guarantee.